Today on Rose Spirits and Gear, we check out the U4 in-ear wireless system from X5. As someone who is into gear and makes his living being into gear, but also tours, I am always asked, hey, I really love your in-ear system, but is there a cheaper alternative? And most of the time, my answer is, well, unfortunately, no, for several reasons, whether that be, you know, money reasons, feature reasons, reliability reasons, et cetera, et cetera. But X5 have come out swinging and they're looking to crush any other budget friendly in-ear system with something that is truly remarkable in the U4 system. Now you can think of an in-ear monitoring system as the opposite of, let's say, for example, a guitar wireless. With your guitar wireless, the signal is originating from your guitar, it goes to the transmitter, and then it beams its signal to the receiver, and then the receiver takes that signal, converts it to what it needs to be, and then sends it along to your pedal board or your amplifier, what have you, etc. Etc. Well, an in-ear system is the opposite of that. You have a source that you want to hear, and then it beams that signal to a body pack, and in that body pack has your headphones or your earbuds or whatever has an eighth inch headphone jack, and it goes into your ear holes, and then you hear what you're trying to hear. Opposite. So the X5 U4 in-ear system is a 2.4 gigahertz digital in-ear system and it has five milliseconds of latency. That is near zero. That is also incredible. Now a situation that you guys would absolutely love this in is for example, I can take the transmitter and I can plug this directly into my fractal axe effects, my Helix, my Line 6 Helix, I can plug this directly to the XLR out and then beam that guitar signal to my receiver where I have headphones. And if I have a wireless unit for my guitar, I can wirelessly jam on my units with no cables, no nothing. Completely wireless, completely awesome. Now I know you're instantly wondering, well, is this stereo or mono? No, this is a mono receiver and this is a mono system, meaning you can't do stereo effects, which would technically take another output. So this would technically have to be two of these and two of these, and it would, it would just, uh, it would get complicated. These are a mono system, but I will note that when I am touring and dragged under, the entire band's stereo system is on mono setting because everything down the center is just easy to listen to as opposed to hearing some sound over here and then you have a random guitar player over here and then you have the kind of vocal over here. It gets messy. I prefer mono myself, so this isn't really a big deal to me, but I thought I would at least let you guys know in case you're trying to jam along to like a stereo track on Spotify or something like that. Now the U4 system is up to six channels, meaning you can have up to six other systems working independently of each other, but you can hook um, up to four receivers with one transmitter. So that is really cool. So if you, all of you guys wanna jam on the same source material or same guitar track, four of you can get just a receiver to that one transmitter. I thought that was really, really cool as well. Now, as far as gigging, I think this is a really, really great option for you guys that are playing weekend shows at small bars or doing the uh, worship music type of thing. I don't know if I would tour with this system just because when you're touring, you're going into all sorts of different region, regions which have all sorts of uh, different frequency needs and ranges that this may not be able to keep up with. However, this does have a 90 foot range if it's within sight, meaning if you can see it, the range is 90 foot as opposed to if it's buried somewhere in the back of a rack. So 90 feet 
is absolutely generous for any local gigs that you may be, may be playing. And this is definitely a great option for you local musicians that are maybe playing on the regular and are playing smaller venues or churches. Now, both the transmitter and receiver are rechargeable via micro USB, and there is a splitter cable for one USB output, so you can charge both of these units with one USB out, comes with cables, comes with everything you need, and honestly, uh, I feel like the, the knobs, the knurled, the knurled turning dials are very, very intuitive. It feels good, it doesn't feel cheap. Um, there's a little bit of weight to them, and honestly, for 229, this is an incredible deal. For 230 bucks, you can get into the in-ear monitoring game and feel good about it. Um, I have a router just on the other side of this wall, and I did not have any noise or dropouts in the two or three hours that I played along and dialed in some tones on the Helix and the Fractal. I was able to freely move around and I was actually even able to go downstairs and get a cup of coffee. Your mileage may vary, but I did find it impressive that I didn't have a single dropout, glitch, or failure with a very powerful internet Wi-Fi modem directly on the other side of this wall, in addition to my cell phone and all sorts of other things hooked up to the Wi-Fi. So I thought I would definitely make mention of that. And uh, yeah, super, super cool super inexpensive, and just, uh, I can't say enough good things about the U4 in-ear monitoring system from X5. All the applicable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Video's over. I hope it was good. I mean, if it wasn't good, I apologize. But if it was good, you're welcome. <laughs>